All right, guys, we're almost at the finish line. Today is our final walkthrough of our house. And what that means is before they officially hand the keys over, we walk through the entire house to see if everything is at our satisfaction. And if there's anything that needs to be fixed, repaired, brought up to date, or they messed up on, we will do this blue tape walkthrough where you attach a blue piece of tape and they have to fix it before we get the keys. And I want to show you guys, there is actually a ton of stuff that needs to be done. So look, just at a cursory glance, you see all of those masking tape, even that giant, all those have instructions on it. You see that? There's a ton of stuff that needs to be done before we can actually get the house. But with that being said though, this is the closest to completion before we actually get the keys that both us and you guys are gonna be able to see this house. So let's do a cutie little walkthrough. Take it away. Okay, cool. Uh, so as you walk into the front door, um, still my favorite feature and guys, like I'm still so like in awe of how gorgeous this house is. Like I don't take any of this stuff for granted. Like I'm standing here and I'm going, I'm like, I don't deserve this. This is so sick, you know? So yeah. like, I'm still kind of like coming to terms with it, even though like we've had beautiful homes before every, like, I just, I just don't get used to it. Um, so even things like adding texture to this wall, yeah. you know, I'm like, what? So you can I see get it on to camera. do that? Yeah, it's called Southwest or Santa, Santa Fe. Fe. Yeah, uh, you can't so see it on camera. I'm like, Oh, you can, but yeah, it's textured and just little details like that, that I'm like, I, I can do that. Wow. So I'm just, I'm still mind blown. Okay. So if I seem kind of like at a loss for words, it's literally because I'm just like, wow, I can't believe this is going to be my house. Like, this is so cool. Okay. So as soon as you walk in, I love this entryway. You're going to have to mess with the settings, babe, because it's about to blow your camera settings really? up. Let me yeah. see. So as soon as you walk Ooh. in, it opens up, right? Oh yeah. So you already have kind of like a peek of what's what's to come. Uh, you see the backyard immediately. So that's one of the things that I cannot wait to get completed, which probably won't get done for like another six months. Uh, but the backyard, we're gonna have a pool back there. So just imagine this beautiful, serene, calming blue coming at you. Um, here to your left is going to be our office. With the cool glass pivot doors. Yes. Hi. No worries. No, the mirror is in. Um, so yeah, this is where our um, our office is gonna be. Yep. Slash podcast. Still haven't decided what side is what or what we're gonna do yet. Okay. That's my side. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I picked any random you side. You probably need this side because you what? have ADD, dude. What does that the mean? The last thing you need is a distraction of like, what's going on out there? Maybe I need to go on this side too, actually. Really? I no, I only picked this side because you know at our old office, uh, you were on the right and I was on the left. Uh, That's why I was like, if you want just the same feel, same format, then I would just go in this corner, you go in that corner, but I don't uh, care. Yeah. No, but this space is, it's bigger than what we need. So yeah, we gotta think about how we're gonna match this. But yes, welcome to our office. So we wanted to make a statement as soon as you walked in and we wanted to give all our guests an experience when they have to use the bathroom. So welcome to our fancy powder room. Ooh. And it's called a powder room. Look at that. Look at the under yes. shelf lighting. This is this one uh, besides the master bathroom. This is the only other bathroom that has and it's lighting. Looks at the bottom. Dope. And it has a lit up the vanity mirror. mirror. And look at this back. Sparkly, sparkly. They have the back splash the wall i don't know what to call it raised sink black accents um, it looks dope it's like a, yeah. it's definitely like a what has a wow factor and bart had a really smart idea and he added outlets so that he can install a bidet yep. and that's keep my butt clean baby yeah keep a juicy a non-juicy butt all right so moving over here this is the kitchen we walk in to the left is the kitchen so you'll see all of our finishes are in now. We've got the countertops, we have the cabinets, we even have most of our appliances. Like we got a stove, we got this really cool microwave that doesn't even open like a door. Let's check it out. It opens like a tray. 
which wow. is super sick because this, this will be really easy to clean if you ever put like fried chicken in there or something. And you'll see all these like little blue tape marks. They're just little adjustments like, like this one kind of rubs a little bit or um, like this right here. This thing sticks out. Yeah, they didn't finish so adding they didn't, a skin. They didn't put the skin so in. Skin being like this over here. I mean, which I didn't even notice, but oh, yeah, you can't even see our, it. And when we're doing our pantry, I think they forgot that we got the pantry organizers. So you could tell they already built the pantry and probably an inspector and they went, came uh -oh. in. And they're like, oh, we messed up. Let's tear everything back down and put this back on. But they have to clean this up still. So, you know. This is supposed to happen in a week. Yeah, all of every single blue tape, like even little as this, as that, as that. Every single blue piece of tape, they have to correct. And um, this happens because they're mass building these homes and it's like one uh, project gets passed on to a When they're different person. teams. Yeah, they're different teams and it gets passed on. So sometimes they don't communicate fully like this. Um, it's supposed to be a cabinet, but I think they thought we were gonna get like a special fridge, which <laughs> is why there's a socket back there. Uh -oh. So they gotta clean this up. But overall, the feel and vibe and like the neutral tones Feels really good. One thing I'm really excited for is, you know, I love movies and like home theater. So if you look at the top, there's all these base plates. That's because I got the pre-wiring package. So what that means is um, all of the speaker wire has already been wired into the back of the walls so that when it's time to set up the home theater, we don't have any wires sticking out. And that's one thing I learned from our last house, which from our last house, we didn't can pick all those things so when i wanted to run a home theater system he was like dude you're gonna have all kinds of wires sticking out all over the place so i was like oh man so at that last house they're like just get a speaker bar and so when we moved that's something i remembered so during the electrical phase i was like can we pre-run wires and then we have all that set up and it feels super good welcome to our room the master bedroom as you can see we have fireplace ready to go um, unfortunately, they do have to finish it here, but look at that. It's really pretty, right? And it does it's generate nice, yeah. a little bit of fire, which is, I mean, uh, heat, not Preferably fire. not fire. <laughs> not fire. Uh, one of the things that I do love about this builder is that they like to work with a lot of like weird, um, not weird, but unconventional like angles. So if you look at our ceiling, it slopes. Yeah. Like, depending on how you're looking at it, it can yeah. slope down or slope up. But yeah, it's we see that. Yeah. Um, I love all the random shapes of the windows. Like it's just so cute to me. Um, this part is so beautiful. Welcome to our master bath room. Boom. So we got our mirrors installed. We selected these just because. I mean, look at it. They're gorgeous. Yeah, that's it is and gorgeous. And I actually forgot how massive they. Oh are. wow! Yeah. Look at this. It's so unnecessary, but it's so necessary. You know what I mean? It is necessary. <laughs> um, and we got I, the light, the under cabinet lighting, yes, as you can see. Under cabinet lighting. The floor, we kept it very. This is actually tile. It's not wood. Yep. We've learned. Pro tip: um, If you're gonna go with treated wood on your floor, just know that it's gonna get scuffed, and it gets scuffed really fast. Especially the dogs. Unless you like that look, um, wood tends to be a little bit more expensive, and it doesn't last very long without it being scuffed i didn't know that and i learned the hard way and i'm and, and it was one of those things that i kind of bar just shared with like okay for the next place i don't want real wood and the technology is so good now that this looks like real wood yeah so, except it's as strong as tile super durable yeah it's not gonna get scratched or scuffed i mean yes it can crack but at least you can just remove it and saw another one but again the durability the unscuffingness that's what I like. It's funny to see all that tape and correction behind you. I felt so bad. Every bad. single one of those things they gotta fix. Yeah, like look here. Like even down here? And I'm not even mad at it. Like I completely understand. Like it's just part of the process. This is part of construction. I just felt bad going like, hey, what about over here? You know, what about you? He was like, no, no, please tell me. Like if we can take care of it now, that's what I want. And I'm like, okay, well, what about here, 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 here? Uh, this is another feature that I absolutely love. When we picked this, we again wanted it to feel very zen, very much connected to like the elements of nature. So look at our floor. Ooh, it's like river rocks. Look at that. So imagine that on the bottom of your feet with water running, it's gonna feel so good. Yeah, kept the black accents as you can see. Again, kept the neutral vibe. Love it, very calming, very soothing. 
very muted, what I just need in my life. We got the bathroom, which again, the bidet, um, the bidet slots, pockets, what is it? The sockets. Bed, sockets, pockets are in, but this right here is where I feel super spoiled and I'm like, oh my God. I don't know, I feel like, oh my God, is this really my house? Ding, da, da, ding. What? What? Who do I think I am? Like, <laughs> you what? Me. Look at that. What? Super organized closet space for the shoesies. This feels honestly way too fancy for me. I'm just like, my clothes, I'm gonna ruin what this looks like. Nah. My clothes is gonna make these places look really, like these, this beautiful finish look really cheap. Nah, you're tripping. When I hang up all my Bartle Brigade shirts, it's gonna look freaking sick. Yes, true. <sighs> look at that. I don't I don't deserve this. This is this is too pretty. Then get out of here. Let me get a new wife. Alright, so that's the entrance and I love that door too. I love that there's glass, so there's all this light that comes in. But what's also cool is our driveway goes that way. So we're able to have the glass while still maintaining privacy. So by the time someone walks up here and is looking inside, I could be like, yo, what the problem is, you know? Or so, hello, welcome neighbor. No, I go, oh, what the problem is, you know? So Dang. that's really cool. Byproduct uh, of the hood. Yeah. So you come over here and then we got our laundry room. Wow. Pretty little laundry room, got cabinet storage built in. What's funny is we don't have a washer or dryer because when we sold our home, that was one of the things that the new home buyer was like, can I buy them off you? We were like, are you sure? They're like, yeah, we love them. I'm like, okay. So yeah, we have some new ones coming in. So down this hallway, we got two. So down this hall, we got two rooms and one over here. One over here. Ooh. We don't know which one's gonna be Tyka's just yet. If we have, uh, if he has a little brother, a little sister, probably we go bada bing, bada boom. And What's bada bing, bada boom? What do you mean? Of course. Wait. Like Tyka be in one, and the brother sister be another one, or Got vice it. versa. Uh uh. And this is what's cuny is there's like a sibling bathroom. So when you come in here, they get two little sinks. They get to have little Cutie. toothbrushes next to each other. They get to fight over everything. Obviously, they don't get a mirror because they don't deserve to. Yeah. Just kidding. So it's missing a mirror. Yeah. And then you come over here, and we got the bathtub and the shitter. No bidets, because they don't deserve it. Did I not put a bidet in here? Oh, boy. Were you supposed to? Maybe I did, I forgot. It's When you're looking at those electronic diagrams, there's, there's so many things, it's it's overwhelming. Like every single outlet and whatever is marked on there, so I might have forgot it. Yeah, too. this is one of the things I do like this tile. It has like this this texture to it. It's really pretty. It's like this nice calming blue. Are you getting the theme here? We're trying to relax. <laughs> so during the blue tape walkthrough, if you guys ever go through like a final walkthrough like this, there is nothing that's too small because it's up to you to enforce that you're getting a home in your satisfaction. So for example, even something as small as this, door squeak. Like everything in here is brand new, right? So everything should work perfectly, properly. And if there is like, like that, it's like, dude, you're paying top dollar for a house. So that was what's really cool with our customer care rep. He was like, there's literally nothing that is too small or anything, just anything that you see that is not up to your standard or satisfaction, label it, which is why there's literally like a thousand labels all over the place. So now we're in a garage and that kind of concludes the, the final walkthrough, if you will. But I do want to let you guys know kind of what Bart was um, touching on in terms of like kind of being slightly nitpicky when it is that you're doing your final walkthrough. Uh, I honestly felt, um, I felt like I was being kind of like too nitpicky when I first went through it. Like you know a Karen? Like yeah, like I felt like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Like I just felt I like I said oat milk. Yeah, like I kind of just felt like I should have just accepted it for the condition that it was in because I'm like, they did their best. And I didn't want to be that person that's like calling every little thing out. 
but honestly um just working with you know different um builders and and just different people of the the, the building team they actually do want that to happen because they're also looking for those things because that's their name so they always want to give you you know one what you paid for and just have you have the best experience the cool thing about moving into a new community is that the first year because they understand that like this is a new build, the land settles, things start cracking, um, there are things that might malfunction or not work, that for that whole year they're like, hey, we're giving you a guarantee that if anything does pop up, uh, we're gonna cover it. So um, it is in your best interest to ask as many questions as possible, you know, just make sure that you come in knowing that, hey, this is what you paid for and you're getting what you paid for. Like for example, when Bart was talking about like an outlet, hmm, like did I miss that outlet or did I not pay for it? Like, when we walked through, we were like, wait a minute, I thought we paid for like some lighting fixtures to go in here. Um, and it's always good to like know what you paid for, ask all the questions, like ask as many questions as you want. Trust me, they won't find you annoying because you know, they're builders and, and they have so many homes that they're you know doing at once. They, they would rather have you ask all the questions now, fix all the things that you can get fixed immediately so that you know throughout the year, you're not hitting them up for one thing after the other. and. and both of you guys just kind of get tired of it. So um, don't have any inhibitions when you are doing your walkthrough. Like just make sure that, you know, you're like, okay, this is what I paid for. Um, and then just say like, hey, can we get this changed? Can you get that adjusted? And honestly, you're gonna be so happy because as soon as you move in, everything will be done. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are getting some really cool tips and, and ideas for your future move or just if you're doing any type of renovation, um, yeah, like, dude, take and borrow anything that you see that you like here. Um, if you ever have any questions to either one of us, you can always hit us up on Instagram. Um, G Antoinette, Bart Kwan. I'm constantly in my DMs, so hit me up. Not me. Yeah, not Bart, not so much. But yeah, if you ever have any questions, you know where to find me.